Yo, what's going on, gamers? We're playing a little bit of Hades today, but we're not going to do the normal Hades where I build all of the easy peasy lemon squeezy stuff and I I freaking slam the the Bancrofts and the Typhans and, you know, the Kronos pendants and stuff. We're going to go the weird Hades that used to be meta and see if it can still do enough or if it's just a simple fact that the old build is old for a reason right so there's there's a lot of things that can change a build to make it really bad and there's a lot of things that can make a build really good um for instance slight buffs to many items of a build in this scenario uh we're looking at the buff to bancrofts getting the glyphs which is really big obviously um which goes more towards the lifesteal route and Typhon's getting um, a increase in, or I, I guess a decrease in gold. Um, and then also, we're looking at things like, uh, I think Book got, Book got Book got a nerf. Maybe I don't know what this is. Like I super out clear you. I I really don't care about this. Yeah, I I just I just pooped on him. I just dookie cheeked on him. It looks like he's going for his blue buff. Yeah, he is going for blue. He could be coming to mine. That would be cheeky. Jump over your blue wall and then run over here, but like I don't think he could get here in time. Yeah, I don't really get the whole invade. I am Hades. And, you know, Hades is very, 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 very good clear. Nice. I'm just able to straight up do that. Book of Thoth, I believe, is 1100 gold, which means I clear this wave and I get book. Perfect. Now, the only negative, the only downside to this, my mana is going to be massively good. So I don't really need to worry about my mana. But the downside of this is I don't have the Bancroft's healing, so I might overestimate my healing every now and then and uh, get in a sticky situation because of that. And on top of that, I also don't have um, all that power instantly which could lead detrimental for reasons I don't really need to say because I'm so used to the lifesteal build now that I could I could accidentally overstay or overextend or like right now I would totally dive in there if I had Bancroft but I have to like restrain myself because I'm going book so the build the build by the way is um it is a book Bancroft, or I'm sorry, Book, Breastplate, Polly, and then Kronos Pendant, Mirrodin, Rod. That is the full build. And basically what it does is it gives you a ton of mana and a ton of power. Um, the power from, obviously, Book. Uh, and the more mana you have, the more power Book gives you, right? So, like, that's why you go to the Breastplate and the Polly. They give you mana, they give you power, They and they work off each other really well. Um, and then... On top of that, you have the Mirrodin for your alt, and you have the, um, sorry, hold on. And you have the, the Mirrodin and the Rod giving you pen. I suck. Oh, no, I don't. I'm the best. All right, so yeah, basically this build is so good because everything works off of each other. You have 20% pen um, and you have max cooldown with a red buff. So everything just works. It, everything just feels really high quality. I think with 30 stacks of my book, I might be able to just straight up do my blue buff. 
I'm going to try. I was not able to straight up do it, but thankfully he didn't invade. Red buff is coming up. I'm going to use 2-3 on the wave here. Arguably, I could have just out of the wave, but, you know, who cares? Breastplate comes out in 200 gold, which should just be one wave or one red buff. Probably going to end up being one wave because he's here and I don't think I can steal a red buff from him. Maybe. That's really good that he, uh... That he toed me, actually. I'd rather him to me than to the wave. Nice. I don't really care about any kind of fight you want to do to me. You scare nobody. Get the XP camp now. His blue buff is obviously done because he has it on him. All right. So now we finish book. I'm sorry, we finish Breastplate and we start a new book, Polynomicon. And this is basically exactly what the build is. Polynomicon gives you a little bit of lifesteal to mess around with. So that Toxic Blade and that Pestilence, if they do build that, doesn't actually kill you. Because you're not actually building that much lifesteal. You're just kind of situationalizing it. Or annoying. Oh, well. Oh. I guess I never actually hit you, huh? Alright. Well, that's good damage for me. I'm okay with that. And it's three minutes spawn after treasure chest, so maybe they spawn again? Maybe they spawn right here? Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm ugly. Unfortunately. My guess right now, I, he's going Aussie, right? I could go Divine instead of Mirrodin here. Like Divine Mirrodin Rod. It doesn't sound terrible. He does do so much damage, though. I, I have to admit, like, I'm not looking forward to... You have Griffin Wing? Oh, you do. That's why you're hitting every auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Perfect. Perfect. All I had to do was predict where he was going to jump. And make sure I met him there. Very good stuff. And now I have Polly online. Because I have enough gold for it. I've done his blue buff. Um, I would like to do red. I don't know if I can greed red and still get blue. So I'm just going to do blue. Because two buffs is better than one. Um, and I, I don't know. Should I greed this? Because he has a full Xy now. And I feel like I'll get dicky on. I want him to go over there. Oh, my two didn't hit him, man. If my two hit him, I think he actually dies. Oh, fuck. He is, he is that up. All right. That's fine. No worries. I'm completely fine. He's not going to try to fight me or anything here. I think I will go Mirrodin here. Because he went Xy instead of Aussie. I, I expected that would be an Aussie and I would go Divine. But obviously if he has no healing, why would I care? Let's just go Mirrodin. Extra 10% cooldown is nice. Ooh. Um, I don't actually know if I can do this. Or 
Turns out I can. Not bad. He's lagging, man. And that poly kills. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. That was a good ult. Well played. But I do have poly. I do have poly and I do have minions. Yeah, I don't think he can he can fight me at all. I think he has to he has to be way more careful than he thinks he does. Because Polynomicon, this bad boy hurts, man. All right, perfect. We got the blue. We're backing. We got the mirrored in. Um, and now I'm gonna go blink. I I do have enough gold to like start another item, but I'm a little bit of a bitch. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this this old meta build is definitely still doing it. The old meta is definitely still doing it. I, I feel like it's actually better than the new meta. Like, I still feel like it's, it's actually carrying more weight than what the new meta would do right now. And that is a Phoenix down. He does have the Aussie, so I'm thinking, what if I delay the rod and just go Divine next? I feel like that would go quite well for me. I stink. I'm Stinky Bobinky. Now you jump. And now I have Blink up. I can't reach you. All right, that's fine. Let's go grab Divine. Uh, I like a sharp thing. Let's grab that Divine. Yo, he went Frenzy. I don't know about that. Frenzy's a bit scary. Oh, the double defense. All right, because I only have... So the, the downside of this build is the fact that you only get 20% pen because you go Rod. However... I do potentially have the option to go um, more than I missed. More than 20% because I could just go shard here. Like I'm not, I'm not limited to having to go rod. All right. Perfect. There's a lot of Titan damage there. A lot of Titan damage there. Pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm that scared of him. How do I miss the back line there? That is kind of crazy. Go get that blue buff. I'm interested in fighting him, but 
I don't know if I can. Oh, you back. I don't know. I don't really have any reason to back right now. It's not like I can get a full item yet, so. You got the full pestilence on that back. How much is shard? 25? Not that bad. can go get shard now. I kind of just want to say fucking go rot anyways, though. a little close i have to admit a little close um let's grab i don't have enough for that he's doing bull demon by the way yeah i mean obviously uh upgrading this will give me a lot more defense which i do want to do cooldown at 30 percent it's only max cooldown if i have a 500 pot or a blue buff you know i will say i think the new build the the benefit of it is that you get an extra 20 percent pen so it stops them from going double defense most of the time i guess um but the old build does more damage early game so maybe that's the trade-off the trade-off is a better a better mid slash early. Okay. I do not want you to have minions. I missed dude my poly though that's with double defense my poly's still hitting 200 that's pretty immaculate bro that cooldown is crazy the one i mean he doesn't even have cooldown oh, let's make sure he can't get red buff Nineteen hundred gold. Going crit chance. Failnot is a crazy item. All right, let's go scorching blink plus finished. Uh, let's go phantom shell actually, and I will show you why. I will show you why. He's so scared of me, man. Alright. 
A little annoying. Oh, into the alt. I held him there, man. Perfect. Perfect. I held him in my fire blink, bro. The fear... The fear alt holding him in the fire blink. Chef's kiss. Actual chef's kiss. So high quality. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can end here, can I? Maybe I can. I do have poly. The, the benefit of the old build, man. The benefit of the old build. Maybe I can. I cannot. Let's do blue buff. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. Perfect. This is why I wanted Phantom. Oh, no. I was going to show you guys why I wanted the Phantom Shell. The Phantom Shell basically is a five second long Aegis. Because what you can do is when on her uses his pillar. Like, let's say I'm hiding behind on her pillar and I'm like low HP. He jumps in the air. I can shell and walk into his pillar. Um, And because I can walk into his pillar, I'm completely immune to damage. And it basically just makes for a five second shell. For a five second uh, Aegis with the addition of like the shell when you start it. So it's really, really strong. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just testing out the old meta stuff. It actually felt really good still. Um, But I don't know. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys, peace.